Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stone Shard. We've done a lot of stuff since last time. I'm level 12 now. Got 18 strength, 18 agility. Still uh, 16, 16 on vitality and perception. Uh, low 10 on willpower, which I realize now, willpower affects pain, resistance, and fortitude, which are important. So... Pro might have been a bad idea that I completely ignored willpower, you know? But, we have a lot of money, is what I'm getting at. I made a shit ton of cashola. And I've discovered a lot of unidentified potions, so we gotta buy some identifies. Now, I know you can do the whole, like, save scumming thing to see what the potions are. But I want to um, have them identified just for easy sake. I have a fuck ton of money. I can buy some identifies. And I don't think we need to enchant stuff. Everything's enchanted. We got life drain on this boy. Eight. We got block power seven. Movement, uh, move resistant ten. Fortitude ten. Can't put anything on belts. Damage reflection eight. Block power seven. I, I don't know what... Damage reflection does really, and then on the good old crossbow we got armor penetration. But uh, we are fighting the ogre today, or the troll. Sorry. Today's troll day. We're gonna see if we can beat. Hopefully, we're gonna beat this game in this episode, because right now all there is is the troll. Let's see. I don't know if I should... Should I buy a better helmet? I'm just thinking... I don't know what the troll really does yet. So I might wait and test it out first. Man, I tried so hard... To get the reputation up in Manshire. I got it to here. But, man, I'd have to do... Redo the three quests that the town gives you. I'd have to redo them like... 20 times each. Or I'd have to at least do like 20 more quests to get it to this line. So, I don't know. I, this is the best stuff I can I can buy right now. This is the best money can buy for me. I think our best bet is to just attempt it. And then go from there. Because if he causes bleed, like uh, if he causes a lot of bleed, then I'm pretty much pooched. Because I don't have armor that prevents bleed at all. None of my armor, none of my nothing prevents bleed so I get bleed very bad which is kind of ironic I was thinking about maybe putting different crossbow bolts for the fight also I got a lever a leather quiver I figured out how quivers work now they're so cool you just open them up and you load them but I don't think we're gonna be fighting this guy at range well I'm gonna go grab all my shit get everything ready and then we're gonna head out Okay, so I identified all the potions and stuff I've collected over this grind session I've had. And, um, we got an accuracy increase. We got this thing, which, uh, gives a health replenishment, but energy restoration and sanity. So that's not the best. Another accuracy potion. We'll probably pop one, get some pop shots with the crossbow. And... <laughs> mead i don't know what that's doing there uh got a pain killing potion and then this one life drain potion and this is the biggest one this sells for 2000 gold and it gives you 100% hunger 100% thirst like in the positive or negative sorry negative hunger negative thirst negative intoxication negative pain and health replenishment which i think means it's going to like insta heal you and, and r removes all negative effects so this is our backup you know and this is the backup after this backup so we get a little bit of health but a bunch of negatives okay but i think that's about it that's all we need um i'm gonna go buy a bunch of splints healing stuff and some food and yeah and then i'll i'll be back i had a sheep here
<laughs> How could you find sheep boring? Sheep are so cute. My sister actually raises sheep. They're super sweet. I've always kind of grown up farming. More of a hobby farm, though, than like a real farm. Still fun, though. The chickens are hilarious. Me and my mom used to watch chickens all the time. Just sit down and watch them beat chickens. Well, let's check out the uh, leprosy place. Maybe there's a place to sleep here. That'd be super nice. I totally forgot if there was or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, there is a bed. I'm actually super glad came and checked. Oh, and there's like healing stuff here too. Oh. I also got, uh, I think, two skills. Just uh, this one I haven't even used yet. Grants 100% block chance and uh, plus 9 block power. I don't know what the fuck that's going to mean because I haven't played with it yet. But I'm hoping that it can be used to prevent this guy from bashing my skull in. Okay, we're here. Oh, and the fucking... The music. Oh, boy. Okay, let's uh clean up our stats a little bit here. Eat that. Drink that. And right before we interact with the fucker, I'm going to eat one of these because it has a plus 10% um, hunger resistance. So... That's a, we do not want to get hungry and thirsty during this. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where's the accuracy potion? Okay. Hello. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, why did I walk? Okay, I think I... Yeah, that's great. This is already not looking good, guys. What? That's fucking shitty. Let's actually... Okay, I don't think we're going to win, but let's do this. And when he does that, he has a chance of dropping your gear. So you got to make sure you have room in your inventory to pick it back up. There we go. And we're bleeding. Hmm. This isn't going so good. And I'm stuck.
Okay, I just dropped my gear. You kidding me? Okay, so we can use this to get good blocks in. Oh, you can kind of like combo this. Wait, so. He has a pattern. He uses one of his weird range AOE attacks and then he attacks you up close. So then there we go, but we still got bleed. Oh no. Yeah, it's game over, guys. Ooh, I got a second wind. Okay, he's fucking off. Sorry that I'm so fucking bad at this, guys. Yeah, he's healing. Yeah, he's at 100%. We haven't done a damn thing to him. Man, this boss is so fucking hard. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to take a lot of practice to get good at. Oh, this game hates me. Okay, things are looking a little better now. And I'm dead. Good night. Okay, guys. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out a better strategy for this guy. I ended up buying new gloves, new armor, and a new helmet. And I'm broke. I have no more money now. I uh, made sure to get bleed resistance on the gloves, on the outfit, and on the helmet. One with the helmet because it has control resistance to stop him from like making me freeze and drop shit. And yeah, I changed up the swords so it's armor penetration and crit chance. Because my swords are just doing no damage to this thing. But... We're going to try out the new strategy. I honestly don't think I'll be able to beat him. I think I need to level up like four more times before this will be doable. But, uh, yeah. So, let's do this. If I'm super silent, it's because I'm trying not to fucking die. Oh my goodness, this boss is on a whole nother level. See, that didn't drop my shit. Holy, I am unlucky. That is so unlucky. There's a lot of RNG to this. Oh my gosh. So yeah, there is RNG involved, I'm pretty sure, with where the shadow shows up. Okay, we have to drink this. That sucks. That ruins my entire strategy. And he's probably at still 93 having dropped 10 percent yeah i think i just need to deal more damage like i'm hitting 74s but i think i should be hitting like 400s or something okay he's at 88 we need to be careful when he hits 70 
81. Once he starts healing, okay, he's at 78. He might start healing soon, so we're gonna switch to swords. And we're gonna drink this life drain potion. Okay, here it is. He's gonna get, yeah, he got 150 HP back. Okay, at least that doesn't do much damage in comparison. Okay, he, uh, yeah, and I figured out you gotta look at what's gonna show up, you know? Rock toss. He doesn't do rock toss unless you're, I think, three blocks away from him. Um, so he's either gonna attack me with cloth, I come in close, or he won't roar and he won't do the shock wave, so. I should not jump in close. Okay, now he's gonna do the roar, so let's... Er, okay, yeah. I think that's worth the damage loss. Oh, I'm drunk, my potion ran out. Okay, we're fighting this guy drunk, I guess. Oh, that's not good. Okay, he's not gonna regenerate in another three turns. We haven't we haven't down at 67. So that's not bad. I'm not gonna start celebrating though. He oh he healed so much. This boss really tests you. There are classes that just wreck this boss. If you're an archer, you can't. You can't even, you don't even have a fucking chance. And it seems like swords are also garbage unless you have a shield. So I don't know, I need to decide if I want to level, like, spend like 48 hours, 300 hours leveling up just so I can start putting stuff into a shield tree so I can block this shit. Yeah, this is the end, boys. Yeah, and see, like, he's starting to heal, but if I shoot him with an arrow, it won't stop it. So I need to switch weapons, then he heals. Holy crap. And I can't reach, so he gets more heals. And I still can't reach. So then he just gets to get more heals. And now he's probably... At 88%. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think I'm strong enough for this boss yet. This was definitely a huge mistake. I need to level up quite a bit still. Yeah, I was drunketed. Drunk. Well, I think that's going to have to do for this episode, guys. I just need to level up more. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've beaten the troll. And let me know about some strategies if you guys have any. Also, uh, what level, like what, what's the base level suggested to kill this boss or does it not matter? Do I just like, I don't have the right strategy or cause I feel like I could kill him if I was dealing like an extra 30, 40 damage, but my swords are doing nine damage to him. And my arrows, when they crit, are doing 70. And when they don't crit, they're doing, like, 30. I don't know. My swords just aren't strong against him. Maybe I need more potions. Or just to level up my strength. Just so I can cut through the defense, his defenses. Ah, I don't know. 
let me know in the comments. But as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.